Welcome to this month's edition of Spruce and Brews News. Grab a drink and we'll take you through all that's happening here and there. What month are we on? May! So, the first thing that came out this month was something that we'd seen some of um, last month, and that's the Sector Mechanica scenery. Yeah, so we, we had most of it came out last month, didn't it? Yeah, we saw yeah, a lot a of the kits alongside the Shadow War box set, um, but we've had a few new kits this month as well. My we favourite have. being the uh, Galvanic Servo Hauler. Yeah, it's really cool. I really enjoy building mine. It is such a painting up at the minute. We'll uh, pop some images up now for you. But uh, such a such a cool kit and loads of character and just just as a scenery piece or to add to the existing sets. Just, just a really fun thing, and I hope we see a lot more stuff like that from Games Workshop. Yeah, I think. I mean, the the, the little bit of focus you've had on scenery at the moment, I think it, it really brings the battlefield to life. Yeah, one stuff thing. Like this. One thing I'd love to see is some civilian vehicles. Now, there's a couple of tractors and uh, the little carriage that you can fit the crates on as well in this kit. So, seeing some, you know, vehicles in 40k or just other non army stuff just to add to like you say a bit of flavour to the battle. More of a living element to the scenery instead of it just being dull and empty and lifeless like there was you know previously something going on and obviously war has come to the city and Yeah well for a long time we've just had all the battlefields in ruined cities with bombed out buildings but now we've got some industrial elements we've got the new kind of jungle vegetation stuff mm -hmm. with the Eldar ruins in there so yeah I think hopefully in the future we'll see a lot more kits with a few different cool things like that. Definitely um, there was uh, one other point I was going to make is um, that sort of similar to what you were saying is the actual servo holder kit comes with a, a mission yes, where yes, you does. have to um, pretty much drive the, the crane away uh, I think that was it, wasn't it? Or yeah, was it I think, I think one, one, one faction's got to secure them, the other team's got to capture it. Yeah. That's a nice little twist for a different type of game. Yeah. Uh, we, like, we like additional missions and things. So. We do, we do. So let's uh, hope that there's more of that on the horizon anyway. Uh, moving on, uh, we all like the White Dwarf. Um, not just the magazine, but the actual character himself. Yeah, it's just something, just games works about White Dwarf, the character of the magazine. I mean, I've been, I was trying to work out how many years I've been reading it now, and it, a while, we'll say, just a while. And uh, now they've, they every year I think it is, they've released a White Dwarf model. Um, the last one was a bit of a... A cop out though, I think. It was it was one of the, the plastic dwarf kits repurposed as a white dwarf, but for um for this month we've seen a proper anniversary white dwarf celebrating his fortieth birthday. With some new armour on. He, he does seem to be wearing some Mark Mark Which Ten armour perhaps. We, we may mention later on in the video. Uh and actually we get we've had two white dwarfs, haven't we? Because um, we have a Blood Bowl. We do, yeah. He's um, also joined by the Black Gobbo, who is um, hidden in the cake in the anniversary model. Um, the White Dwarf Blood Bowl model available at Warhammer Fest for the first time, which is currently on as we film this video. And uh, it should be due soon for everyone else. Yeah, and you, when you buy him, you get the Black Gobbo in. Because the, in the one, I think it might be the current White Dwarf, they've got rules on how you use him in Blood Bowl. And actually there are rules for the 40th anniversary yeah. White Dwarf in um, games of is it Age of Sigmar and? Yeah, both 40K. both 40k and Age of Sigmar in the box with the miniature. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, I believe you, you've painted yours up after that. Yeah, I painted mine up uh, in Crimson Fists colours. Nice. So yeah, so um, I'm sure we'll see lots of, I've seen, in fact on Instagram I've seen a few cool conversions and different colour schemes, so yeah, well worth getting the model. He also comes with a 25mm base to use in just uh, normal games as well. The, the scenic base is really nice though, so yeah, I'd build him on that. Yeah, he just look very, very nice. So also this month we have seen Season 2 of Death Zone for Blood Bowl. I 
so I, I think Games Workshop are, are genuinely like so surprised by how Blood Bowl has. But it's always been. Yeah, it's Blood Bowl's always been a popular game, and I think there might have been a little bit of hesitation to how much resources they gave towards the game, where it looks like it sold amazingly well, and I think every release has sold out on, yeah. on launch, hasn't it? it so has. um, season two has the rules for goblins and the underworld denizens and chaos, if I remember rightly. Uh, we've also uh, got new models to accompany it. Yeah, so there's a box uh, of, of goblins and an expansion blister as well, with another four goblins, because they're, they're cheap in gold, you can have lots of goblins in your force. Yeah. Um, and also coming alongside them again, out at Warhammer Fest and general release soon, are the secret weapons. Because goblins, they don't have blitzers, they don't have blockers, they basically just mess people up with chainsaws and bombs and pogo sticks and... They are the masters of cheating. They, they are. It's, it's, it's not cheating. It's it's influencing the game, ke you know, cleverly. Yeah. Cheating. 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 I really um, like the the uh, additional... It's only... I think they've... They're not out yet, but um, as we're recording this at uh, Warhammer Fest, they've shown off some images of the human booster mm. packs which are coming. Which I think, really, cause I think that's the only downside to Blood Bowl is some of them can be... Uh, yeah, we, we quickly found out that you can't really make an optimal build out of the stuff in the plastic sets. You need a couple more throwers, catchers, blitzers. So I think for all the teams that will be releasing four models and an additional sprue, just add a few more bodies to your force without having and, to buy a whole new box. And the, yeah, and the also you, you've got a more dynamic looking yeah. um, team, you know, with more poses. Instead of everybody's looking the same, more in you know, yeah, 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 different colours, but uh, but no, um, that's definitely worth picking up, uh, if only for the additional rules as well. Yeah, there's you... some cool stuff in the Death Zone season two book, like uh, it's having stadiums and more more rules for campaigns, which is cool because we love a we love a Blood Bowl campaign, don't we? We do, we do. Um, although I'm not very good, <laughs> but. Um, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm, I'm reading some tactics. Yeah, and season two seems a great point to jump in again and start a new faction. I'm definitely going to pick up some goblins because I just want to cheat and break everyone's knees. Kicking people in the down, that's that's my tactics with the wall. I think I'll, um, I've still got one eye on the elves. Ah, well. A little bit, maybe. We'll there's see. been some little previews of the elves at Warhammer Fest as well, so I think they're the next team up. Have to wait and see. Well, we 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 do. They're on the way, but yeah, look forward to seeing the rest of those. Yeah, definitely. So they look really cool, and they're also bringing back new human and orc pitches, but instead of being cardboard like the previous ones, the more inside of the battle mats. Yeah, which is really cool because the the cardboard um, pitches are really nice, but a bit cumbersome to carry around. Where this, you can just roll up, put it behind you know, end of the bed or something. Whip it out when you want a game of the bowl. Seems really cool. And I think there's a goblin one on the way as well. Yeah, but they're, they're on the way. They're not out yet. So obviously we've got the new season two book yep. that'll stay out. And the goblins. They're now yeah, out, perhaps. aren't they? Yes. Yeah. There's so many releases. You, you get confused of what's coming, what's not coming. Breakneck releases from Games Workshop. At the yeah. Moment, which is cool. It keeps all, you know, nerds like us happy. It does indeed. Now, while we've sort of gone back to that kind of era, you know, Blood yeah. Bowl, sort of Age of Sigma. There's been a pretty cool Age of Sigma release this month. There has. Now, I think I think this is um, a little bit of a, a, a stopgap. Maybe that's not very fair um, to remind people that Age of Sigma is still a, a major player. But obviously, with everything that's going on with 40k Blood Bowl and stuff, this feels like a nice time to release it. Yeah, so it's um, Skirmish for Age of Sigmar, allowing you to play games with smaller forces, only a handful in each army, uh, small, quick, little Skirmish-style games joined together with a little campaign system. So looking forward to getting some games into this, and it's... we will be um, covering this on, on the channel as well. Yes, we will be. It's almost like um, the... Kill Team equivalent. Yeah. So it's not Shadow Wars, but it's not like a big game of it. It is, you know, 
quite there's a few rule changes to make it adjust better to a, a small scale game yeah but the, the rule system is Without. firmly based on the age of sigma rules all the war scrolls still work there's some rules over what you can take in the army the idea was pretty much if you can pick up a plastic kit in your local games workshop you'll be able to use it in skirmish obviously not bigger things like giants they're not in it it's more no. infantry based yeah you have like one hero and then a handful of um, sort of troops uh, the book's only six pounds as yeah, well yeah it's really good and what's interesting is that the game is set in Shadespire which we know is coming towards the end of the year yeah which is its own sort of Age of Sigma maybe that's more akin to sort of Shadow Wars yeah it's I think it's more a board game than a miniatures yeah. war game but it's nice to see the fluff introduced in this we can learn about the, the city that was Shadespire before Nagash got less than impressed with it. Indeed. I think, we, we, although it's not out yet, I think we've we've got to touch upon... The big news. The, the big news. Uh, and that's that Games Workshop have uh, broken, um, basically, an 8th edition out of the bag. So we yeah. now know it's in the starter box. We, we've seen goodies that are going to be up for pre-order very soon. Yeah, there's lots of... They've, they've been dripping the news over the last month, every day, a couple of posts on the website, but um, this last week they've unveiled the whole lot. So what have we got to come in? Well, well I mean, where do we start? Um, Starbucks? Starbucks, yes. yeah. Pre-order is... So, so really, you know, we'll be covering more of this in the June news, but... Uh, it's up for pre-order on the 3rd of June, with a general release date of the 17th of June. It's 17th, 17th yeah. isn't it? Uh, it's going to pit the Space Marines, but it's not the Space Marines, is it's it? It's Ultramarines, wow. They're the Primar Primaris, Primaris Marines. Marines. So, Belisarius Call has been very busy in the last 10,000 years. Under special orders from the Lord... Rabute Gilliman. Yeah. He has crafted his own gene seed, really, to create a new breed of space marine. Faster, stronger, smarter, shootier. They've they've had a big upgrade. Massive upgrade. You know, old marines now, they're Windows XP. This is uh, this is Windows. What are we here? What are we on now? 10, maybe. Ten. Mark 10 armor, that fits. 10 armor, there you go. So, yeah, so Call has been making these for the last 10,000 years in secret, and um, it, it joined the event of Gathering Storm. Obviously, the big Bobby G is back on the scene, and he's authorised the deployment of these new Marines. They are so nice. I mean, I, I got to see a couple the other day, and they... The, the, I mean, they're, they're still... You look at it at first glance, they're still space marines. Yeah. Uh, but when you see them next to a normal marine, you can tell like they're, they're a little bit bigger. You could say they dwarf a normal marine. No they do, agendas. yeah. The, yeah. Uh, but yeah, they, 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 they are incredibly, like, I, I love this Mark 10 armour. Yeah, it looks so, so cool. nice. And we see a few uh, varieties of units in the box as well. So obviously we've got the... Standard tactical guys with bolt bolt rifles, I think they're on with now. Yep, no um, bolt guns anymore, they're rifles. Yeah, a bit, bit, bit of range on them compared to a bolt gun. Um, we also have a plasma squad and a assault squad with dual pistols, which is pretty cool. Dual assault pistols. Dual assault pistols, sorry, yeah. Yeah, they, they look particularly tasty. They've got like, little shields in front of them as well, aren't they? Yeah. And obviously, like you say, they're dual wielding them. They, I think they're my favourite unit from the new... Yeah, where um, t t vanilla Space Marines tend to be more um, jack-of-all-trades with an assortment of weapons. These are more like the old legions of old, where your squads will be designed for one purpose. Well, yeah, I was, I was just going to say, actually, they don't have tactical squads. No. Nope. So, you, you you know, gone over when you'll have, like, nine guys with bolt guns and then one guy with a missile launcher or a plasma gun or something like that. The Primaris Marines, you'll just have them all armed. Maybe the captain differently. Yeah. But the rest of the unit will purely have rifles and then you'll have Firestorm. What are they called? The Plasma Squad, I can't remember. Incinerator, something like that, I'm something not sure. Something like that. So, all, like... You'll have a squad that are all armed with plasma weapons. Yeah, and plasma looks pretty brutal in the new 40k as well. 
They can fire a standard shot with no drawbacks, pretty cool. Or they can gear up the damage, but there's a 1 in 6 chance of you just dying, you get vaporised. So some tower players were used to that with they the were. Uh, overdrive systems on Riptides. So I see, I see Corp's been busy to, to fix up the marine armour, but he's not fixed plasma weapons yet. Oh, well, maybe no. in the next 10,000 years. Yeah, see plenty of time. They'll be whenever. safe at some point. Yeah, yeah. So in the starter box, obviously, you get a nice selection of um, of these new primaris marines, but you also... Um, Obviously, they need to have an equally awesome-looking opponent. Yeah, well, as the resident chaos expert on the channel, uh, Death Guard are in the box. So we've got some awesome new um, Plague Marines, who look really cool. Uh, Pox Walkers, who are really the new kind of plague zombies. Really wacky-looking guys with scientist coats and metal pipes and all sorts of fun stuff. They also get a Blight Drone, I believe. Which is really which cool. Which is really cool. Uh, obviously, we've seen them from Forge World before. This is a new plastic kit, buzzing around the battlefield, doing mischief. Oh, buzzing. Yeah. And uh, a couple like of characters. Puns. We've got a summoner and a lord in Cataphracty armour who looks amazing. Probably the, my favourite model. Big two-handed um, axe. Yeah, perfect for cleaving off Primaris Marines' heads. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's very nice. Uh, no scenery in this kit, but you do get the full rule book. Yeah, hardback rule book worth £35 separately is included in the, the £95 uh, boxed game, which is awesome. Really cool from Games Workshop to do that. Because they could have easily thrown in a small paperback rule book and had to buy the, the main book separately for the fluff. Yes. Uh, you also get a more small um, paperback book with the rules for the Primaris Marines and the Death Guard that are in the box, so you can start playing straight away. However, for everyone else who's got an existing army, wants to expand, there's also a range of five index box coming out. These cover every Citadel kit that's currently available for um, Space Marines, Forces of the Imperium, Chaos, and then two covering the Xenos kind of armies. So Depending really cool. on what you're going to uh, collect there. Um, I tell you what's also interesting as well is they're releasing the core rules for free, aren't they? Yeah, so the basic rules available free on the website. Obviously, you won't get the fluff and stuff that you'll get in the big chunky book. The big book also has city fight and different varieties of battle like that. So Lots of missions cool. and the more advanced rules. Yeah. Um, and it, it does come with a quick view card of like the core rules. But sort of like Sigma, you know, the, the actual very basic rule set to get you playing. Yeah, it seems it's like an evolved available. version of the Age of Sigma rule set to me, hmm. with some of the complexity brought in from 40k, so really excited to get some games of this and we'll cover it on the channel. Oh yes, so that's going to get soon dedicated video. Definitely. For sure. Uh, Forge World are also putting rules for all of their models. Every single model you can get from Forge World will have rules available in the game, which is really cool. So on launch, they will have the Space Marines and the Chaos Forces covered. Obviously covers the guys in the box game. And then throughout June, we'll see another two box. One for the Forces of the Imperium, with Death Corps, Knights, Titan Legions, all that cool stuff. And then the final book will cover all the Xenos factions, so Eldar, Tau, Tyranids, Orcs. So yeah, covering every single army, which is really cool. They will all be out by the end of June. Again, I think it's only Space Marines and Chaos out launch date of the game. But that, that's, since, that's just for Forge World, yeah, though. I so think their release is a little bit slower because obviously they've uh, not got the massive team that the Citadel team have got. But mm -hmm. they'll all be out by the end of June, so only a few weeks to wait. Yeah. And There's also, also a few weeks. cool things coming out alongside the book as well. So we yes, have. Yes, there is. Uh, there's the tactical objectives. Which I think come in uh, a box of six, I think, different. Yeah, objectives. it looks similar to the uh, the hero bases kind of mm. sprues that they've put out, but uh, some cool stuff on there. I think you've had a, a bit of a closer look at it than I have. I have. There's um, my favourite one. Is a little. It almost looks like a, a you know. You imagine in films like Independence Day where the the the, the, you, see the, the you know the very first one you see that the yeah. alien in the capsule. Uh, it's like that, but with a little gene stealer inside. Amazing. And you can see the gene stealer uh, inside of it. Apparently, the clear plastic 
uh, they have as so well, like included on the sprues. That's pretty cool. Um, you've also got like what looks like an escape pod from a much l a larger ship. Um, you got little computer systems. That's cool. They're just re like again going back to our first point, bringing the battlefield live. Well, we've always used dice for objectives, which is yeah, you know, which is which. But when you've got a narrative built around oh this drop pod or this tyranny in a containment vault, just just adds a bit of cool to the battlefield, doesn't it? It does. It does. And I, yeah, I I appreciate I appreciate that. So yeah, we've got a box of six of those coming out. Uh, there's also going to be some command dice. Yep. Uh, yeah, command dice. Um, similar to I think I've had them in the past for different uh, things you can issue with your command points. They're basically um, d6 dice, but I think some of them have markings on to remind you of, like you know. Yeah, when, once you've issued certain effects to units, you can put it on the mod next to the model so you remember what's happening. Which, yeah, which is nice. Uh, wound uh, dice, which I think are D20. Yeah, I think it's just boxes. D20s. With, I think things have got a lot more wounds in the new edition, so to monitor to wounds, um, just, just D20 to count them up. Which uh, people do anyway, but these are nice 40k themed ones, so can't have too many dice in the collection, can you? There's uh, some new, is it tactical objective cards as Yeah, well? new objective cards replacing the old 7th edition ones. Um, again, there's a variety of missions in the box. Some of them use them, some of them don't. We've always found that they make really exciting games, so I'm sure we'll be sticking with them in the future. Oh yeah, definitely. Because they, they just make the games a bit more mobile. Yeah. Instead of just killing the team, you tend to find yourself moving a bit more with the objectives. And I think they're going to make them a lot more sort of narrative based as well. So. Yeah, so that's really cool. And then I think there's some new templates and all the usual stuff they release. So big order to put in on the uh, the third of June, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a very expensive month uh, next month. I can't I can't wait until we do this new it's show. Really cool. What we're going to do is each really start a new faction for the um, for the new game as well. So I'll be adding to my chaos forces with the Death Guard. I am going to, um, although I have been um, completely in love with the Imperials, especially the Death Watch, I felt it was time to go evil. Go evil. Go evil. So I've, um, I've actually I've posted an introduction on our website. I'm going to start a Tyranid project for the beginning of 8th edition. You know, all these new Primaris Marines are, you know, about... They need reminding. Well, yeah, that's that true. There's some uh, bugs out there, and they're hungry. Yeah, and then we've also got Cameraman Jay, who's going to be looking after the Primaris Marines. We haven't. He hasn't decided on a chapter yet, and probably no. won't do till he's put no. together the model. So, if you have any suggestions for which chapter he should uh, paint up there, or if he should um, go, you know, create his own chapter, I'll pop a comment on this video or uh, send us. Uh, Sends the link on Facebook. Yeah, or, or just torment him with ideas of other armies to start because he'll he'll buy them all. Let's face yeah, it. Yeah, he will. He'll purchase them all. So yes, uh, there's lots going on on the website. But always after your feedback, please like us on uh, social media. Um, I know our we've had quite a bit of um, content on the Instagram. Yeah, Instagram will always put our latest updates of our armies. Um, anything we're working on at the minute so if you're into that kind of stuff follow us on there uh, please like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out gets gets the content out to more guys who want to see it obviously we've got the twitter and the facebook page as well and then the website where all the latest news will be posted if you, you yourself have a, a project ongoing that you'd like us to see perhaps you picked up some of the stuff from uh, this particular month's uh, news video then maybe you send us some images of, oh, yeah. of what you've done, anything that you may have um, customised or painted, something you particularly like, you know, you've done and are really proud of. Show us, we, you know, we want to see it and we'll we'll get it posted somewhere on our website yeah. or for our social media channels. So that's that's it all from us for this month. We'll be back in June with all the 40k news battle reports, more features, so keep watching and I uh, hope you enjoy. Until next time. See you later.